going on? Zach Evanish here from the underground office. As you can see, lots and lots of stuff. Lots of reading materials. Always be a white belt in the mind. Never think you're good enough, smart enough, strong enough. Let's do a little q and I posted this on the fan page. Go to zacksfanpage.com or you can follow me uh, through the Twitters. That is an easy way to connect with me. All right. <clears throat> Great question here by Chris Lewis, and uh, his question is straight to the point. What is the strongest and the weakest barbell slash dumbbell correlation to strongman movements? So if you want to have a good carryover from using free weights to improve your strongman training, you want to go with squats, deadlifts, and any of the weightlifting variations, Olympic lifting, okay? That's what some people call it. So clean and press, clean and jerk. All different kinds of cleans, hang clean, power clean, snatches. Same thing with the dumbbell. Use the quick list with the dumbbell, but you can make it more challenging and sometimes more specific by getting some of those um, fat grips. We've got the uh, iron grips. I think they're called the iron grip or the bull grip. I love them. They sent them uh, to us. We use them a lot at the Underground Strength Gym. So you could do snatches from the floor, clean and press, clean and jerk. You could do it with one dumbbell, two dumbbells, um, and of course deadlifting, you could use thick bars, and um, zercher squats are also going to be great because you're oftentimes doing a lot of carrying of an odd, odd object in front of your body. So if I broke down a quick list, we're going to do deadlifts, and when I say this uh, movement, think of all the variations you could use. Deadlifting, squatting, um, Weightlifting drills, basically exercises from the ground to shoulder or ground to overhead. Um, and zercher squats, those are going to be huge. And doing them with barbells, and if you can, if they do have a dumbbell variation, use the dumbbells. And uh, let me just extend the answer to this. So when I talk about using variations, let's say I mentioned squats. You're going to do zercher squats, front squats, back squats. You're going to do squats from the bottom position. So if you have a power rack, you're going to set the pins up in the bottom so you're squatting from the bottom versus um, standing up straight, going down and up. So you're doing uh, dead start squats where your body doesn't build a stretch reflex. If you're doing uh, deadlifting, use a thick bar. Use a double overhand grip. In some strongman events, you're allowed to use straps. So think about doing that. When you're doing the weightlifting drills, think about getting an axle or a thick bar. So these would be non-revolving thick bars. That's what the axle is. Um, and that's it. So if you're going to use free weights, use the exercises that build those muscles, make you strong, um, and do have a carryover. And that's really part of the conjugate system. Louis Simmons talks about that all the time. Varying the exercises to build up your weak points that get you strong for the actual competition. So this should be uh, doable. There's people that compete in strongman events that train from their house, from the garage, from a backyard. I've seen uh, videos on YouTube of people training out of like storage facilities. So it can be done and as always the bottom line is no excuses. So uh, my man Chris Lewis right here going in through the Facebooks. Thanks again for your question. Thanks for uh, checking in on the fan page. That means a lot to me. Those of you that are new, get to undergroundstrength.tv. Subscribe for the newsletter. Got some amazing training courses for you. They're free. And the newsletter itself, you're going to love it. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. Peace.